Here we go. SMPK Insurrection from Slow Rider X Core. It helps if I'm actually on the right screen. This is the... We've been playing all the plus ships. This is the C plus Zultan ship. Um... How was my pause? I don't understand the question. So, this ship is called the Repost. Has a Volge Beam and this sh a Shield Drone. I like the name of the ship. Uh, the only way to get it is via a Netflix subscription. That's the only way to get into the Breach on mobile? Really? That's weird. The Zoltan Cruiser Plus, an advanced cruiser designed to wield a deadly shield-piercing weapon backed up by the means to maintain the health of its energy shield. So this is, this is kind of a side grade from a glaive beam in vanilla. Slightly faster, less core damage, but it pierces shields. And I believe it's longer, I think. I think it's longer and faster than a glaive beam. I don't know that I've used the Volge beam much or ever. It is a shieldless ship. So you have Zoltan energy shield and the shield drone overcharger drone so the mechanics of shield overcharger drone let's talk about that a little bit people in chat back me up if you have knowledge oh you actually give deploy time here we go so in vanilla you don't actually know this but the more layer of super shields you have the slower you get it, it takes for it to give you this the longer it takes to give you a an extra layer. So Slow Rider, in his infinite wisdom and very meticulous brain, has laid it out for us. If we have... I thought you started with five Zoltan layer shields. This only goes to four. Um, maybe anything above four will always be 20 seconds. So the best time to turn this on, I think, will be at one layer. One or two layers, I think. Four plus layers is the cap. Okay. Shipcom will brief you on what to do. Well, let's uh, let's look at that. Uh, maybe it'll talk about this. The Serkov class refit the repost. Uh, when one Federation captain looked upon the designs of this cruiser, he described it as the abomination. It's not hard to see why. Like the Arbiter class, it not only lacks conventional shields, it doesn't have the hacking module that made the ship functional. Instead, it makes use of the means to ensure Zoltan's shield survives as long as possible. This takes the form of shield overcharger, drone. Uh, when deployed on a ship with an intact Zoltan shield, it takes 20 seconds for it to deploy a fresh layer. Because of this, the captain is forced to assess the enemy's weapons array, determine if they are capable of breaking through and dealing damage in this time frame. If they can, then the drone should be deployed immediately. This allows it to protect its primary form of attack, the Volge Beam, with its shield-piercing power and incredible range. It's capable of dealing the same, if not greater, damage than the combination of Halberd Beam and Hacking. However, it's 23 second charge time and not guaranteed. <coughs> Chance to completely disable enemy weapons as it means that the captain has a lot of variables to concern with. So... God, this is going to be very strange, because Shield Drone... It's 20 seconds at full charge. But if I wait 10 seconds before I turn it on, then I should have just had it on it from the start. So if their weapons are fast firing, I want to wait till they hit me once and then turn it on, I think. If they're slow, I want to turn the shield drone on, I think. This is going to be weird. This is going to be a weird one. All right. Two Zoltans. Did you nerf the cost of shields when you have no shields? Or is it still 125? Yeah, I have nothing. Okay. Well, we probably skipped the store entirely here. It's unchanged, okay. Okay, thank you for helping us, and now we're gonna go away and give you nothing for it. Cool. This is a mechanic that I don't actually know the optimal way to play around. 
so let's think about this. What's the charge time on a heavy laser? Is it 10 seconds? Nine or 10 seconds, right? I don't know if it's altered in this. If our, Zoltan, if our shield drone takes 20 seconds to charge, I think it's actually be just best to turn it on immediately. Uh, Neon Sky, give me a second. I, I can't read. I can't rename right now. I'm trying to do FTL math in my head. If his weapons charge, uh, well, let me see. The weapon would have to charge faster than ten seconds, and we'd have to get down to. I think it's actually just better to turn it on immediately. It's so hard. I don't. I don't actually know what the best play is. Wow, that's long, giggity. That's what she said. I can't do more than four hits anyway, though. Oh, unless we dodge everything. Holy dodges. Okay, that was perfect. Hit us once. Yeah, nine seconds on heavy laser mark one. If that hit us with the first shot, and we went down to three shields. Then it would be down to, what was it, 16 or something? I still think it's actually just better to turn it on immediately. What's up, Pie Boy? Alright, you wanted to be the Zultan on weapons. Sure. I cannot guarantee you'll stay there, but... Oh wow, we got a map, okay. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, seven, okay. How's it going? It's going pretty well. Um that's actually not a bad bribe. I think we have a guaranteed high reward if I don't take that. I think. I'm not 100% sure about it, actually. <laughs> Zombie shop. See, like, right there, now this charge time would be 12 seconds, but I would have lost 9 to 10 seconds of the charge time, so... I don't know if it would have been better to wait there. Oh, wow, it's a store. Okay. It would have been 13 seconds, but I would have lost the charge time of the weapons. I think it's just always better to turn it on immediately. Um, Let's see. Whole laser one, ion blast. Interesting. Kind of just want the whole uh, halber beam over this. What does this sell for? 45 and 20. 65. change any of that. I'm gonna have a single weapon. This is probably the best one I can go with right now. Be nice to swap to like whole laser plus Albert Beam or Ion Blast plus whole laser. Can't really do it. What did you just join? Chat, are you okay? No, we are not. <laughs> Welcome to the Fusel Pod. That's right. Okay. Ugh. Oh, and I didn't turn it on immediately. If I don't turn it on immediately, I should have waited, maybe. I don't know, somebody needs to do the math on, on this thing. Somebody needs to do the math on the optimal time to use turn shield drone on. Beep boop beep boop beep 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 boop beep boop beep. Getting lots of dodges though. Six dodges already in what three fights? It's crazy. Alright. So we really need to just save up for shields, I think. Mm -hmm. 
maybe a weapon swap out potentially. We want this to time between the heavy lasers if it works out optimally. Nice! All right, that was actually the optimal thing and I just immediately turned it on. We dodged one shot, which helped that. But distinct heavy lasers variants worked out perfectly for if every shot hit, we actually had a shield up between. That's pretty crazy. I almost wonder if I need to get a weapon value point. Not sure though. Maybe dodge would be good. This looks like someone took the worst parts of Stealth BNC and put them on the Zultan platform. <laughs> uh, now here, this is an interesting one. This ion is gonna get through my Zultan shield even faster. So, this might be one where I wait for the first volley. I'm gonna try to wait here. And that's like a double ion, isn't it? Is that gonna do four ion damage to my thing? Okay, there. We min-max that, I think. So it should now be 10 seconds. Or 13. Whew, we took no damage. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I think it'll be up just before this mini beam too. Nice. Okay, I feel like we're actually learning something from this. I feel like I am actually learning something from this. I think if I had turned that on immediately, I don't think that would have worked as well. Man, this is some weird FTL math going on right now. Figuring out the optimal time of using Zoltan Shield drone while having a Zoltan Shield. Okay. Firebeam drone does do stuff to it, right? Yes. So here I'm gonna wait for the first basic laser shot or as soon as I get to one shield. Okay. Wow. Randomly hit my engines twice. Double reward? Nice. The engine get the repair. Basically the only thing in sector one that's a pain for this ship. I feel like there's a lot of things that would be a <coughs> pain for the ship. Like any offensive drone, <laughs> basically. Or is that what you mean? Any offensive drone is the only thing that's a pain. How many drone parts do we have? 13. Okay. Alright, so we almost have enough for shields. I don't need missiles, so here we go. We are five scrap away from shields. Uh, be able to pour shields. There it is. Okay. Flare cannon is what? One power, seven shots, but it does no damage. It just starts fires. Since it does no damage, this actually doesn't get through shields if I remember correctly. So that can't be used as like a flak to get through shields. The only reason the ship can get away with not starting with anti-drone is because you went out of your way to ensure that asteroids and damaging combat drones can't spawn in Sector 1. Ah! Interesting, okay. Only on this ship? Or is that in your entire mod that combat drones and asteroids can't spawn in Sector 1? Because that's pretty crazy. Uh, I think Clone Bay protects me from refugee ship drifting in space, but I'm going to check it. FTL, refugee ship drifting in space. 
This is one of the three that I can't remember. Plumbe. Yeah, yeah. Protected. Okay. Okay. So with this, I think it's better to just immediately turn it on. Because I think these are both slow enough. It's the super fast things like ions and beam drones, or offensive drones, that I think are the things you want to avoid. Turning it on immediately. Yeah, that times out well. Wow, this Vol'jin doesn't even one-shot Zoltan's shield. That's... That means this is worse than a Glaive Beam. Good dodge there, though. Good frickin' Doges! Wow, our... Alright, this is the best ship for uh, dodge training, apparently. Because we already have frickin' level 2 engines and piloting. That's crazy. Might want to bail. We got... We got clutch dodges, man. Neon Sky over here. Oh, wait, you're the weapons guy, not the dodge guy. Dennis and Willard. MVPs. Zero damage fight. Unbelievable. Now, well, we have enough for the shield. We just gotta find an actual store. Okay. Purposely not upgrading anything, because I need to make sure I keep enough scrap for shields at a store. Alright. All right, these are desync heavy lasers, and the last time we fought desync heavy lasers, it timed out correctly for us. This should be slower than this. And if we get any dodges, that helps a lot. Wow. Okay. Butamus. The Volch solo is stronger against two shield ships in the glade, but only when solo and not backed up by anything else. Well, it's definitely weaker against Zoltan Shield. Because being unable to one-shot the Zoltan Shield is definitely weaker than Glaive Beam's ability. But it is faster than Glaive Beam, but still. If I'm waiting 23 seconds, I'd rather wait 25 seconds and one-shot the Zoltan Shield, so... Um, so I've seen every jump so far and haven't seen the store. Two, three. So if that's a store, we see it that way. I wouldn't be able to see these guys. So that's two I wouldn't see, but there's a lot more up there. So let's go this way. All right. So, Volt Solo is strong against two shields. Okay, well, here's the first time we get to see if that works. Okay. Um, so, Ion plus Heavy Laser. These both do two damage. You fire in, what, eight or nine seconds? Um... So, two volleys will go off, and then this will... Charge. So that's two ion, two, 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 one. I think I want to turn this on immediately here. I think there needs to be an offensive drone for me to wait. I think. I don't know. If anybody does more tests and can tell me more definitively the best way to use this, I would definitely listen. Just Dumble Doge them. I hope I do. Nope. Okay. Here we go. If I take that deal, two fuel, and scrap. His weapons will go offline, so I'm not going to take that. I just hope this ion doesn't hit my sh weapons. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, the dodge was a little late, but better late than never. Okay. Let's 
Still no store. Um, I'm gonna get a dodge, but not power, because I can do this for it. Explore. Hey, it wasn't five free hull damage. Yay, where's my stores? All right, so seven jumps. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So the only place I can't get stores and still be efficient would be here. So I'm hoping it's at any of these jumps. And I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I get a zero stored civilian sector, I'll be very sad. Listening to Pie Boy while I'm at it, just get a free flak. Hey, Zoltan Crew Blue option, nice. I'm gonna get weapon value. And I can have that online if we like one shot shields or something. All right, skirt the premier. I think you have a chance of like getting a ship fight or a weapon. I'm just gonna do this. I think that's always, unless I'm like super overpowered, I usually don't head in there. And just a bulge beam in sector two with no shields does not feel super overpowered. Okay. Ah, uh, crap. Since I, since I didn't do that early enough. We wait till the first volley, then turn it on. Okay. Have some fires, sir. If I have sensors I can check, let's go see if we're gonna potentially crew kill this. Hmm. I think the bulge beam did too much damage. I don't know. We'll try. I doubt this is going to work, but we'll try. Uh, it might work. That guy's not running. <laughs> He's like, you're the sacrificial lamb. Put out that fire or else we all die. Okay, we all die. Okay, well, that didn't start any fires. I guess we go there and hope it hits those three rooms. <laughs> that was the only room I didn't actually want to fire in. All right, well, it could spread from that room. Okay, there we go. Question will be if this this guy dies in a fire before it burns down. When it spreads, will he die in the fire before the system actually burns down? That's the question. This might actually work. This ship is on fire. <laughs> uh. This flare cannon is really inaccurate. Golly. All right, time to see. Does he die before? Nice, we got it. Beautiful. Patience paid us off. I need to remember that I have these special abilities. I always forget that about these ships. Okay. Fire is fun, great for burning humans, and most of all, it will kill. <laughs> all right, Flyboy. Were you here when I said I watched a little bit of uh, Force and Fire when I visited my brother? He just had it on randomly at one point, uh, and I thought of you. Anyone got a link to Shogi Stream? Rand mentioned it. Uh, yes, Pieboy can get you that. Yeah, this is... I think I want to immediately turn this on. I'm gonna... Nice. 
Beautiful. We'll do this. Same thing. We'll see how patient we are and how many fires we got. It's basically the same build. If the fires are enough, it might work. And it's worth attempt. It's worth the attempt. Unless you don't start fires, then it's not gonna work. Because at hundred health. Okay. Hmm. There's no way this spreads enough, right? I'm gonna test this just to see if it get through shields. Yeah, it doesn't. That's what I thought. All right. Double reward, okay. Store RNG is being very silly. It wasn't the last run too. It's just store RNG silly day, I guess. Show you 74% more dapper than Rand will ever be. Rude, true, but rude. All right, there we go, store. Please, please shields. I think it's guaranteed with your, with your three pages of stuff. Okay, it's not there. Weapon toolkit, okay, there's shields. What are the weapon choices? Two power, two shots. Two power. This is the mini, uh, mini Vulcan. Um, you love the idea that you can measure dapperness, okay. Which of these will be better for getting through shields? This has to warm up in 25 seconds. I mean, this takes 23 seconds to charge. So this fires a shot every two seconds when it's fully charged. What is the shield charge time for enemies? Vulcan can fully suppress shields. This cannot. So I don't know. It's probably pulse laser. It's probably better than auto laser for actually getting through shields. Uh, let's go ahead and get the shield generator. We always do that. I'm going to sell this and I'm going to buy one of these weapons. Or if I hacking. Do you have hacking? You don't have hacking. Okay. No hacking. 50. How much? The next weapon power is 75. Yeah. Probably the two power two shot laser. <laughs> and we need to get this online before next sector, if at all possible. And we try to continue to use this. Oof, okay. Let me buy a couple fuel. Rand is so every man relatable. I am? Oh, because I'm not as dapper? Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Shogi's my friend, so I don't mind if he's more dapper than me. I'm better at shooting my friends in the knee than he is, though, which is probably not something to be proud of. Get one shot. Okay. Hey, Dave. Welcome aboard, Dave. What a name. All right. Uh, let's go put... Um, put you on shields because I really don't want a Zoltan on weapons, honestly. Mainly what I want to avoid. Once we get this pulse laser, he'll charge up. Or he'll uh, train up a little faster. We all shot Mike at least once, it happens. Uh, he was talking about when I shot him, actually. <laughs> Raw asteroid or once in a lifetime deal. Uh, is this a basic trade good? It's a common trade good. 
sell value of 25. I think if we sell out a store at the event, it will be worth more than that. This is actually not a good deal, but I'm pretty sure as long as I don't sell it for its exact value and sell it with the event, that will be a profit. So I need to find a store before I can get my weapon upgraded. We actually can get through three shields with this Volge Beam, which is one thing this has over a Glaive Beam. Is that correct? Pierces one shield. Actually, I don't know if this... Does Volge Beam get through three shields by itself, or is it only two shields? So if there's a three shield ship, I won't be able to do anything versus that ship. That's really good, because now as long as I find a store, I will absolutely 100% have the scrap to get the weapon online. It can't get through three shields, okay. Channel my inner rev and make the best trade deals. That's what I'm that's what I'm here for. Advanced anti-personnel drone. Controllable drone, so I can choose where it goes. More power. Three power. 50 more health. 30% more damage. 30% more move speed. 30% more drone healing. <laughs> that's interesting. I still don't know if it's worth it, but okay, that's cool. Worth more as it's scrap, I'm guessing. Uh, okay, this sector layout. I want to be here in seven. Yeah. Let's go one more jump in the store. It's a little greedy, but I'm doing it. I've been shot at enough with, with it by enough enemies to see that. Oh, that the Vulture doesn't go through three shields. Yeah, but I'm not a very detail-oriented person, so... Are you really surprised that I don't remember? I'm not. <laughs> oh crap, I did the opposite of what I just meant to do there. Do, 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 do. Good doge. Good doge. Wow, we are already maxed on our dodges in Sector 3. That is so early without doing any training. This guy hits my weapons. I'm going to be in bad shape. Okay, we're fine. Oh, Mitch! Welcome aboard. Oh, you're a ghost, aren't you? Or, uh, are they called a hologram or a ghost in this mod? I forget. You are a... Hologram. Yeah. Will you come with any training? No. So just be on doors for now. Alright, store. We're looking for... What am I looking for? Either get the pulse laser online or make a complete change in my weapon build. So I don't know that I want to keep using the Volge Beam. Unless we get like a pre-igniter or something. Offload trade goods. 44. Ooh, that was a nice profit. That was... What, 19 scrap profit? Not bad. Interesting. Tactical Electron Beam. So this is the one that does ion and core damage. And it is twice as fast as the Volge Beam. Hmm. This thing is so strong. The lucky nerf happened. What, uh, what changed? Is it shorter, or... This is a tactical version of it, which is actually the buffed version of it. So if I go Pulse Laser plus Electron Beam... Still not great against three shields. But it's not bad. Mm. Power require went, requirement went up by one. Oh, it's three power! Ah, okay. Hmm, okay, three power. So three, four, five. How much power do I have at five? So I could do that plus the pulsar, pulse laser. <laughs> what mod adds all these new weapons and crew? It's slow riders. Uh, do I have a, I should have a thing for it. Let me see. CPK. There it is. That one right there. It's 
Pulse laser plus electron beam better than Volge beam plus the pulsar laser. It's faster. What's the charge time? 12 seconds, 11 seconds. That's a really fast volley. You know what? I kind of want to try this. I kind of want to try this. And if I get this other laser, do I get that online anytime soon? 165 scrap. Um, doesn't feel good enough. So I maybe get hacking. Could go for an offensive drone with drone recovery arm. I kind of like that actually. That's like suppressive fire. What is this tactical laser drone? It's uh, slightly faster, has a fire chance. That actually sounds pretty darn good. Yeah, let's do that. That lets me turn on my shield drone with less worry as well. Uh, do you have backup battery at this store? Oh, or what is it called? Emergency power, you do. Okay, I'm gonna get that. Let's spend the rest of scrap on that. Okay. We're gonna do a build we have not done for a while. And that is... A, uh... Offensive drone with drone recovery arm built. If we're forced to have drone control, let's get some use out of it. I'll probably do this to have this on immediately and then back up battery shield drone when it gets lower. I need power is what I really need right now. So I need uh, seven, six, I need to be here in five. So here in four. Yeah. Uh, you didn't want to make the electron slower to nerf it because Slug C would be hit hard by that. Slug C plus, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I actually can get that. Uh, we're investigating something. Do I need level two t uh, sensors for that? I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's go for it. But yeah, uh, Baboom, I really, really highly recommend this mod. I think this is a really, really well done mod. Slow Rider. And I think you have somebody else who's done work on it or can help convert it to hyperspace. They've done a really great job. I love this mod. I think this is the best full rework mod out there. Well, best is hard to say. It's not the most extensive because that's obviously uh, multiverse because it just has so much stuff in it. But I think this is the most well-balanced while adding a lot of content mod out there. I need to turn auto fire off. Looks really clean. Seems to add a lot of variety. It absolutely does. Absolutely does. I did a full hardened, no pause, beat every ship run through of the old version of this because I enjoyed it so much. I believe. I think I did that. Slow Rider probably remembers better than me, but... Uh, I don't really want to go to a store, but we're kind of forced to. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Totally. Uh, okay. 20 scrap. Can't really do anything here. I guess, you know what, it doesn't hurt to buy some fuel. Let's buy the fuel. What mod? This mod. SMPK Insurrection. I just linked it a little bit ago. Uh, want to join my crew? Why is it all humans? Or, well, I guess you're not a human. You're a another hologram. Here, have this sentient AI to join your crew. I was wanting real crew, but okay. We've been boarded. They must have Dalton Chill pipe. Oh my god. Um... Freaking game, man. Alright, uh, let's do this. Let's 
start like this. I don't know if I can win this fight with my crew that I have. You nerfed the length of the beam too, didn't you? Definitely feels shorter, giggity. Okay, his weapons are down though. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't have to do uh, whatever it's called in this. So I can go like this. Like this. As a fire. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. As a fire starting eye on there, I gotta be careful of that. Nice quadruple fire in the weapons. All right. Is there a potential crew kill here? War Mantis. Most of them full health? I don't think so. Oh, that was the same length of the beam before? Okay. I have no one on shields. I know, I moved them for reasons. Um, did I save that position? I really wish I had a non Zoltan who had engine training because splitting them up like this is really inefficient power wise <sighs> I just need power just gotta buy power I don't honestly need shields until they get through my Zoltan shield so this power is kind of wasted until they get through my Zoltan shield so it's a little awkward Alright, they keep offering me to offering to upgrade my weapons for cheap when I have no scrap. Ooh, I don't have level 202 or the ability to get it yet. Yikes. Immediate store with nothing to sell. Okay. Unless I want to sell my shield drone. I'm not using it. Oh god, seriously? You forced me to waste two jumps to get This is literally the only jump. That is inefficient in this entire sector. You FTL, man. Can you mod the game so it can't do that, Slow Rider? You can't, I'm sure, but still, that is so goddamn annoying. Okay, that's perfect. You are now my engines guy. I lose a little bit of dodge, but it gives me ion immunity. It's good. You wish you could? God, I wish you could too. One of the most annoying things in FTL. All right, we need this, I think, next. It's just how often that happens. Again, it's probably confirmation bias, but it seems like it happens almost every time. Chase them, damn. But the quest goes in a place that you can't get without being inefficient with your jumps. Okay. This guy can't do damage unless he bombs my shields. So, turn this guy on. bombs for you okay it happens really often it sure feels like it does again it's probably confirmation bias but it really feels like every time it could happen it does happen I kind of need the fuel but that's not enough scrap
Oh my gosh, he's running. Okay. Good dodge. I really need power so I can use my drones. Uh, so I need second shield power, and then I'll actually be feeling good about this run. So let's go ahead and shield first, power next, and then do things like, I don't know, buy our last system. One of you to O2. Also, I need to. Oh, I keep forgetting I need to level. Oh, never mind. He got his weapons back up. I need to level up O2 to level 2 to be safe in a slug sector from slug annoying event, which is. Okay, it's actually cheaper in this mod. Good. Okay. Uh, let me buy a little time with my O2 on so I'm not low on oxygen. Detour from the power upgrades I really need to get. Because we need O2 for uh, the slug sector BS. Man, do I do that? Because 10, 9, 8, 7. Yeah, it's like, what is it? Two or three jumps we lose by doing that. That really sucks. <clears throat> um, you have a missile and an offensive drone, it looks like. I'm gonna just attack. Oh wow, double offensive drones. I think I'm gonna actually turn this. Oh, I don't know if it's actually even useful. Well, hmm. Good dodge. Well, the double Zoltan and Ion or in shields is protecting us some. I effing hate you, FTL. Ugh, fuck you, FTL. <sighs> of course, this guy has 8,000 fucking percent dodge. Okay, this laser dude is useless. Got my weapons online. Just fucking hit my weapons again. God damn it. I have a fire on my ship somewhere. Give me the. Give me the. Give me out of here. Zero fucking dodges. Go fuck yourself, FTL, and help me out here, you shitty game. Get me out of this stupid, shitty, OP freaking fight, man. Single missile. Single missile. And I can't do jack shit against it. Why are my doors not working? Fucking free door hack. This stupid fucking game. All right, all right. At least I already... Thank God I already vented those rooms. God damn, this shit game. Give me a... Ugh. There's your salt, everybody. Who said they like me being mad? There you go. I'm being mad just for you. There it is. And he just shot all my shit. Great. What do you know? I dodged zero things and he dodged everything. So amazing. There, that was a good hit. This is so fucking stupid. He just gets a free door hack. Why? Because you, it's FTL, that's why. It's goddamn stupid bullshit FTL, that's why. Okay, die, you piece of shit. Damn it! 
Ugh. This is not gonna work, is it? You can just set my entire fucking ship on fire and I have no recourse. Because it's a goddamn stupid event. But I... Eat shit and die. Get me the hell out of here. Give me my fucking doors back, you stupid game. Oh. I really hate slug sectors. They're good for some things, but they really suck for just cheating bullshit. Like, you don't get to have O2. Why? Because we have an extra hacking system that doesn't exist. You don't get to have doors or clone bay. Why? Because... You, it's FTL, that's why. Goddamn slug events, man. I honestly didn't take that much damage, but the fact that I had fires that I literally couldn't do anything about. Or at least I couldn't vent. I would have to move my... Good... I would have to move this guy around if I really wanted to deal with it better. God, I need fuel so... I have power so bad. I need so much power. Uh, ignore them. That is a absolutely that is a trap. That's you need a mantis for that, I think. Mantis oversee the repairs or something. Otherwise, it's like free borders or something. Speaking of goddamn effing free borders. Hope you enjoy your venting, stupid humans. I think it's humans. No, oh, it's random crew, I guess. All right, get vented. Get vented. See, I totally get salty on this on this day. I totally get salty. Store. 41 scrap. I think long range scanners are still 30. You just got news that you don't have to pay $800 for the next year of university. Wow. That's good news. Congrats on that. A second electron beam. I think I want to replace my shield drone with a defense drone. Yes, I do want to do that. I feel like I'm really behind in scrap. Like, really, really far behind. At least they give you scrap for joining your ship. I don't know what that means. Uh, oh, you mean the people who boarded us. Yes, true. At least it was not free borders for nothing. It's true. Good point. I should look on the bright side instead of being so negative all the time. That's a bold beam. Okay, so we know that this doesn't one shot our Zoltan shield. However, if this guy gets a shot that hits, he can. Good. Oh wow, he dodged the entire thing. Okay. Didn't really want you to do that, but it's fine. Okay, now this voltage beam is terrifying. Come on, I need you to hit, sir. There we go. There it is. There it is. Nice. Borders must pay an entrance fee, that's right. Kind of 
kind of need fuel, but I need scrap more than fuel. I just spend scrap on fuel, though. Free university is amazing. Yeah, scholarships are awesome, man. Although I think if you live in some countries in the you in EU, you all like pay for university, right? All right, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know where it is that does that, but I think so. You think uh, the defense one was a good decision? You're free of this curse called university in one year. You know, enjoy it. Enjoy it while it lasts. You know, college years can be some of the best years. Okay, I am not getting good hits here. Good dodges, though. It's gonna board me now. I don't know if I would say best years, but good years. College years are good years, so enjoy them while you can. But I can understand wanting to be done. I was really ready to be done when I was in my sixth and a half year. Okay, okay, let's not do that. Vent the mantids, vents them. Giant alien spiders, kill them with fire. Um, in Nordics, at least in the Nordic countries, it's free, uh, free tuition there. It's pretty awesome. Six and a half years. Yeah, it should have taken me six years and I got really lazy at the end. I was playing too much World of Warcraft to finish my last project. So it took me an extra semester. But yes, I have a master's degree in voice. That's what, that's what my degree is in. That's why I sing because of my vo voice degree. So now I can have these online. Now I can start actually saving some scrap for uh, something. I don't know. I feel like an offensive upgrade is needed. You have free higher education in Europe for four years and just BSc. Was that bachelor degree or something? I don't know what BSc stands for. Um... I go across here. I would like to go across here. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, in the U.S., you get to pay to go to school and go in debt to go to school. It's so great. Although there are all scholarships, but uh, even back in you know early two thousands when I finished my school, I ended school with. 5,000, 15,000 in debt or something like that. I forget exactly the numbers. And I was, and I was happy because I wasn't $40,000 in debt or something like some of the people who went to private schools and stuff. It's crazy. One, two, three, okay. All right, gauge the enemy, three shields. Okay, so when they're about to get the result in shield, I will Backup battery, the shields maybe. When you exited university, you were twenty-six thousand dollars in debt. Yeah, that sounds like the low, uh, the mid to low end in the U.S. I would say. Ugh. Oh wow, we just we just got a nice double. Uh, combat drone shot there. You all, you pay 30% to 50% tax for salaries. Yeah, that's I'm sure there's plenty of trade-offs. I'm not gonna even try to guess I Need that fuel actually. I'm not gonna say one is better than the other And not even guess what the trade-offs are in the different countries, but There are a lot of things that I think are just bad in the US Oh, BSE, Bachelor of Science, yeah. 
Um, so I think there is a way to get a double reward if you save the slugs. Because they say they can't pay you back, then you strip their ship. So attack the mantis ship to save the slugs. This is the one that I think I get mixed up with the other one that I often say. What is it? Um, you get a double reward. I think it's the Zoltland Mantis one that I mix up this one with. You never went to university or catering college. Is that what? Catering college. I've heard the term culinary school. Is that is that what catering college is? Is culinary school? It's the term I've heard. Wow, we've dodged every shot so far. 100% dodge for us. Sucks to be you. Nice. Uh, you see, we're most grateful. We do not currently have. Finish him off. Double rewards. Beautiful. Uh, we have to pay for extra exams over three. And if you fail a subject to retake it, other than that, that's pretty much it. So don't fail. So that, that actually seems like a pretty good incentive. You can have free college, but if you fail, you have to pay to take the course again. That actually makes sense, because then you have incentive to, incentive to not be lazy and blow off your classes and stuff. Do I think I'm strong enough to try to head inside the scrapyard? I, I feel like this is going to be a tough fight. Oh, okay, it was not a fight. It was just more stuff, better. More stuff equal better. Learning on the job better than school? Uh, I, I would say that depends on the school and the job. Um, civilian sector is better, but if we go there, we have two force nebula jumps or nebula sectors. Do I go NG homeworld so I have choice? I do have NG for blue options. That's how a bunch of scholarships work. That's true. But I never experienced it since. I'll be honest, I was a nerd. I did really well in school, so... I didn't actually have to deal with any of that. Um, and the reason why my loans were low is because I actually did get a good amount of scholarships. What is? What do I want to do here? I don't have long-range scanners. Let's go civilian sector, I guess. For chef work at your level, it is. Okay. Now you just need a girlfriend. <laughs> You're not the only one. So you're not alone in that, especially not on Twitch. <laughs> so if I go to three nebula jumps, I should get... No, I actually need two nebula jumps and I get 11. Okay. What do I want to do here? Do I want to wait for a store to see about getting another weapon? I feel like I need another weapon to help me get through shields, or I need to get hacking. That's what I need to do. Or get, like, double offensive drones. That could be really good. He's got hacking and three shields and a lot of lasers. It shoots it down. Well, that was a waste of waste of a drone for no effing reason. Thanks, video game. Thanks. Okay, that's good hits. Nice. One shield left. Just enough dodges so that even if the hacking was still online, it wouldn't go off. That's good. He's got a value point in shield. That sucks. Do we do 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 this? Hope it didn't sound like I was bragging when I talked about my school stuff, but I'm sure there's a lot of people on Twitch who were. I don't know. Is there a crossover between being nerdy and liking video games and sci-fi fantasy and being nerdy and being good at school? I don't know if there is. <laughs> it's a crossover I have, but I don't know if that's a in general thing or not. We have a lot of scrap. If I could find a store, there we go. One, two, three, four. No, I want to go here so I can get the nebula jumps. Let's go drive to the store. Dee 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 dee. Mind control, cloaking, no hacking. I kind of, I kind of want to go for this, man. I kind of want to go double offensive drone, two offensive laser drones. Is my other one a, an elite one as well? That one's tactical. Elite is.
Um, yeah, two power. Kind of want to do that. Are there any really good weapons that make me change my mind about that? Three power, four shots. So... Compared to two power for two shots. Is that what this one is? Alright, I'm thinking about buying the elite dr uh, drone. Swapping out our pulse laser. Being a nerd in D&D &D are cool now anyway. Pog champ, nice. Okay, we always do this. I want to just... This is it's a build that I haven't done much. Uh, in order to do that, I would want to do that. And then I want to sell this guy to get this guy online. I don't think I'll be able to afford to have it be online as a thing. It's all about the get good approach to life. <laughs> that gamer get good approach to life. That's right. If I did this, 33 scrap. 33 sell you for 25. 33 plus 25. Talking about being good at math. 58. 58 would not be enough. So I'd be a little bit shy of getting this online. So what if I bought this, but didn't sell the other guy yet? A couple fuel. A couple repair. Now I'm going to save to get this online, then we'll potentially sell this guy. Now I can have double... Here we go. For all you drone lovers out there, this is a this I hardly ever go builds like this. Let's go offensive drone build. This will be fun. Have the drone recovery arm. Of course, now we're wrecked by any anti-drone drones. Okay, good. None there. Oh, I can't dodge that anyway. Nice. Ooh, no drones for you. I would be terrified if I was fighting me. I would be so scared of my ship. This is a really strong build. Oh, this is nice. All right, I need power. That's the next thing I need. I need two power so I can have this online plus my two drones and I can back up battery that. Then we work on getting the Pulse 3 online. Yeah, I just need Defense Scrambler. Love the drones. These are really strong. These are like better Combat 1 drones than vanilla drones. The Elite guy is same speed. Everything is the same between these except Elite has a 10% higher fire chance. This is really strong. Okay. I need a defense drone that can shoot down drones and missiles. I wonder if that exists. Probably does. Do that. Okay. Oh, that's a fire in here. Vulcan drone offline. Whew. All right, we did that in time to not take any damage. Beautiful, 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 This might be one of the stronger. Wow. Okay, one of the stronger offensive builds we've had in SMPK for a while. I feel like we haven't got much in the way of free weapons, and nice. So that's four power for four shots. This is three power for four shots. So this having these two guys is just worse than having this one guy. So I want the next 75 scrap to go into weapons so I can get Pulse Laser 2 plus this. And then we can work on getting third shield, I think, is the next thing I want to do. Ship is really strong, so is it the exact opposite of the Zeldon Sea? Well, it still starts fairly weak, I would say. I mean, it's it. this ship reminds me of, like, Stealth B 
and Zoltan C put together. Slow offense with crappy defense. It's probably better than both of those individually, but it's like similar build to those. Yes, have all of my missiles. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Now I need to sort of sell these other pulse lasers and get some other stuff online. So we have five jumps if I go through two nebulas. Nebulae. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I guess I know which way I'm going. Well, you know what gets through Zoltan Shields quickly? Ah, uh, freaking cloaking. What the frick is this ship? Double missiles, burst laser three. Zoldan shield, three shields, cloaking. F you, FTL. What a bullshit ship. Missile just. <sighs> My Zoldan shield's about to go down, so I'm gonna have one defense and one laser against this. I don't have a four hit. That, that hits both weapons, shields, and cloak. Are all three of those, do I? Okay, no cloaking up. Okay, stop one missile. Cloaking's down. He's got an engine in there repairing it, though. This is a bullshit ship. I cannot believe the power level of this ship. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Uh, yes, actually, this, this. Take that so I can get the hell out of this stupid bullshit fight. OP in every dimension, totally balanced. <laughs> That's not what balanced means. Ah, oh, just deck him. The offense on these enemy ships. I thought I was strong. Jesus Christ. These are such ridiculously strong offensive builds we're seeing. Just enough dodges. Okay. I am OP, and so are my enemies. These are insane enemy ships. Hey, Women Bolo, 28 months, my friend. Thank you so much. A little busy lately. Want to drop by and give that. I really appreciate that, my friend. Nice. Screw the missiles. I'll just take free stuff. That is awesome. Really appreciate the subage, my friend. FTL took my build personally. I guess it did. I was I was bragging about how OP I was. Yeah, never do that in FTL. Never do it. All right, there we go. So now I think it's third shield we need to go for. Third shield or a system. We have two system slots, actually. May the puns be with you, Ambambola. Nice. Attack the ship. Offensive drone. Lots of lasers. Okay. Undodgeable Zoltan shield removal. How nice for you. <sighs> Not enough dodges, although the amount of shots that were just blasted at us, there are not enough dodges in the galaxy for that. Line. That's good. Get wrecked. Uh, no puns today, or will there be? Uh, I don't know. 
or will there. You will allow that. Was that a pun? That wasn't a pun. I should have bought that whole repair drone earlier. However, I think I couldn't afford it earlier. I really need third shield. Oh, it's a store. Okay, well, let's check the store. I do have two pulse lasers, Mark 1s, to sell. They have a whole repair drone. They don't. A heavy, hardened heavy drone, eh? So, do I sell you? Yes. Systems, cloaking, mind control. I think I'm going to avoid getting hacking because it's so overpriced in this mod. So, I can only afford mind control. So we go mind control cloaking, I think. That does delay me getting third shield. You'd think Zoltan Shield would be enough to keep me from getting third shield, or from needing it, but these ships are insane, so... Yeah, no extra ship fight. Slug, home, nebula. You were just saying that when puns do happen, you will allow them. Okay. You're gonna head up. In and around. Have a good night, my friend. We'll see you next time. All right, we already have the level 202. Do I need level 2 clone bay for any of the slug shenanigans? I'm not sure. Wow, that's twice now we had a chance to get an extra thing and didn't get it. Let's go and get the shield value. marker. Okay, we should be able to go get that. I'm not sure if distresses and Zoltan sectors are good or not. Uh, if you swear, let's see. Tamper jump beacon. A slug vessel jumps in, announces hacked your engine system. If you, as one of the few remaining ships in the Federation, swear allegiance to Slug Empire, you'll be free to go. I have no idea what this event is. Is this... Ah, this ship is... Cloaking, crazy ion. You have the Zoltan thing here. Is this a is this a vanilla event? FTL swear allegiance. No, that is. Uh, <laughs> Never! I will never swear allegiance to you! Okay, I have no idea what, what that event is, if it is an event. No idea. That's gotta be an SMPK thing. We're immune to this lance beam by itself, plus the ion. I had to check, because I was like, I just... Oh, Jesus. I'd never seen that before. And now I know why. Seriously? Hey, what do you know? It's a fucking free hacking event in Slugs. Thanks for adding more of these, Slow Rider. I'm so glad to see all these extra. Oh, by the way, we have cloaking. We just get free hacking because F you. So glad to see it. Wouldn't be FTL without F you bullshit events. He's cloaking off line. Okay. All right. So if we get the third shield, we're gonna need power. So I'm gonna do power first. You somehow you doubt the sincerity of those things. What? You don't you don't think I'm being uh 
sincere? I don't know what would lead you to that conclusion. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that right before that store. I don't really have anything to sell, so I don't really want to go to the store. So 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it looks like down and around we need to do. I have never been sarcastic ever in my life. Uh, would you like payment? Okay, four shields. Four shields, sector six. Just hashtag slug things. At least he doesn't have cloaking, I guess. No surrender. You go to hell and you die. You go to hell, you die. Okay. All right. Uh, one more power. Now I will get. Ah, <sighs> third shield, which is what, 60? Yeah, I save up for that. Four, five, six, seven, eight. An opportunity for nine, 10, potentially. Man, this is like the fifth, fourth, third, third or fourth time we've had this uh, event text. Send a combat drone to, no, you're just gonna eat the combat drone and I get the fight anyways, that's fine. This guy's weak. God, this guy's got, what, four weapon power? We fought a guy with, like, eight earlier. Just ridiculous amounts of power. And then we get this freaking guy who can't do anything. Get wrecked by my drones. Nice double reward. Beautiful. All right, there it is. Third shield. Need power for that now, but... I think I still have one more system slot. Which I like cloaking, which is a lot of scrap. That is a lot of heavy lasers. Sure, I'm glad I got this mind control living in a nebula. Whew! Good hits. I not hit enter in like two. Things. Okay, uh, this, this, and I'm going to lose power and shield if I actually move them. So, okay. In vanilla, you can't control your mind control. In this game, you can't control mind control. In this mod... However, you can move a crew on top of another crew of your own, and they will automatically automatically swap. I cannot do that here. I cannot move a Zoltan on here to force him to walk up and tank these guys. That kind of sucks, I'll be honest. Okay, let's get him out of there. Kill your friends. Um, what's the deal with the hologram crew? They're basically humans with half health. It's only 50. Uh, actually, they're, they're buffed in this mod. 75 health, but they don't suffocate, so you cannot vent them. Unventable humans. I know, it sounds horrible, right? But they are actually better at sabotaging, which means they can... Which is attacking systems rather than crew. Typically, you can hear laughter from most jokes, but beware of jokes with bad puns. They are silent. Silent, but deadly. Beware of jokes with bad puns. They are silent, 
but dadly. You could not resist doing one. All right, I guess that was a dad joke and a pun in one. Fire boy allows it. Big surprise. All right, one more power, and we are saving our scrap now. That was not terrible as jokes go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sounded pretty bad to me. Free boarding. Um, so this is the free boarding, free clone bay vent. Uh, stupid bullshit. Okay. So if you go there, you go there. I'm going to move you down here. Move you over here. Okay. Mm, you just be ready to drop them out. We should be okay here. Nice. No weapons for you, you cheater. This guy basically has free extra hacking and free extra teleporter. That's why I get so mad at BS like this. This guy basically, whatever system he spawns with, he spawns also with two extras. Frickin' cheating slugs, man. Okay. They're vented humans. You bought them pre-vented. Oh, okay. They're pre-vented humans. There you go. <laughs> Typically, you can hear laughter from most jokes, but beware of jokes with bad puns. They are silent, but deadly. Silent, spelled S-I-G-H-L-E-N-T. When you put silent that way, that makes me feel like it's a religious joke because Lent is a part of the church calendar. But I guess it's just so that you can put sai, like, ah, about the jokes, which is what I do about most of your jokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should be able to do that, yeah. So, all right. Well done, Wamabola. Glad you're able to drop by and give me that. Um, slug dressed in a black robe. Feel suspicious. Game of chance. Give a selection of rewards. Ship substance. Silence your foes. Something special. Ship substance. I think that's uh, consumables. Silence your foes is... Uh, maybe fuel, that's missile. I have no idea what these are. I, I, I don't understand. I'll just do this. All right, fascinating. Close your eyes. Yes, game. Right. Such good fortune. All right, we got a storage key. Okay. This would be to unlock, I think, the slug plus ship that we've already done, but I think we get a, an augment from doing this if we take that to the uh, uh, home base in Sector 8, whatever it's called. Intercept the rebel ship. All right, it worked. Purchase is final. No revents. <laughs> Cloaking and running away. F you, FTL. Just F you. This better not be level three cloaking and running away. Okay, that's a, only, that's a low level thing. Wish I had a slug so I could actually use my mind control offensively. Okay, no cloaking for you. Does that pull the pilot? Thank God, okay. Damn it, I misplayed that. I meant to do this, but I was so focused on him not running that I let my shields lapse without fixing it. Alright, I only took like one or two damage there. Not too bad, but I should have taken none, da none damage there. Ah, this is, a, this is a special event. What is this? Renfield Bomb. Exotic bomb teleporter with maniacal performance against living targets, destroying almost any species of crew in a single explosion. Guaranteed to hit 135 personnel damage, 40% fire chance. Wow. Wow, that's 
gonna actually be amazing against the boss if I could use that for crew killing. Um, okay. So I'm trying to save up for cloaking is what I'm trying to do ne next as my final final uh, system. All right. So actually, the best thing here is to crew kill. Glaive beam. Okay. But you have to do it before triggering the second part, which can be quite difficult. Especially since he has a heal. Uh, yeah, we're never going to be able to do this. So I'm not even going to try. If I can see where his crew are, is. Okay. Uh, so we let him escape, go up to the slug, and that gets you high rewards. It's a reference to End of the Breach. You think Renfield Bomb is what you have to defend during the boss fight? Oh, nice. End of the Breach reference. Uh, nice, Slow Rider. That's cool. That does sound familiar. I didn't know why it sounded familiar, but that does sound right. So. Let's let's save up to 150 before I spend anything else, even though I want to get like power and stuff. We've been boarded. I can use mind control. Do this. Oh, there's dudes in there. Okay. Vent them all. Happy venting day. Uh, I can throw you in here and fight them. Oh, I did the wrong guy. I meant to... the guy was not on doors. There we go. I actually should let you die. So I can clone you since I can't vent you. There we go. Perfect. Now he will not be a one health unventable human. He'll be a 75 health unventable human. Okily dokily. Alright, 136. We almost have enough for cloaking. Almost. Okay. Um, this guy has to be very lucky to do damage to us. Basically this, I think is, I think that might be a piercing or breaching. It's breaching, so maybe he can't actually do, well, those hit at the same time he can. Okay, nice. I have to dodge nothing and they have to hit at the exact right time, which did not happen, get wrecked. Okie dokie dokie, okay. Ah, oh, store! Cloaking! Man, I was hoping this would be a store, but I actually didn't think it would be a store. Lance beam, hellfire, small bomb, cloaking, that's what I want. That's what I want. Beautiful. One fuel. Last thing we need is get this anti-personnel bomb online, and we are looking good, man. Looking good to get some good crew kills on the boss fight. This is a very chill track. Okay. I'm digging the combat drone offense, too. It's doing work, man. Okay. This, turn these guys off. Do we ever crew kill this? A bunch of dudes fighting in a fire. I bet you we do if I get anti-personnel bomb up. Does this do system damage too? It does not. It just one-shots crew is what it does. Kill those two guys. Pop. <laughs> Alright. So all I need to do is get these guys in a room together. 
with mind control. And then enter personnel bomb and that's a crew kill. So if I do... Uh, I need to slightly damage room and have them repair it. This, oh, come on. Go in the same room, please. <sighs> Whatever. Use one extra bomb. One extra bomb, I guess. Okay, where are you? Where are you, die? Beautiful. Alright, so I need 70, no, 90 scrap to get that online. Okay. All right, one more sector. Okay, slug. All right. Actually, probably lucky that we went to slug home and then slug. We had three slug sectors this run. It's probably better than uh, Uncharted Nebula for ship fights. Although it's still all the annoying slug events, though. I'll probably be raging about all their cheating again. Okay. No cloaking, that's good. Hacking and mind control, though, is pretty scary. Cloak that first volley. Buy us time. Hopefully we'll never let them get through our Zoltan shield. Okay, stop that. Uh, Beautiful. How about one more power? And then power and the 90 scrap for the anti personnel bomb. Although, again, I'm not getting crew kills in Slug Sector when I can't see their ships. I've been living in a nebula, unable to use mind control and bombs to get crew kills. Living in a nebula. Has to walk in a tender location. Can I make it so they can't board me? I think so. Fuck the bomb. Beautiful. And there's the boarding. Where are they? They're over in here. There they are. Kill your friends. Do this. Turn off O2. Do this. And finish them. Rah. Want to come in here? No? Okay, we'll kill you in here then. Alright, there's the 90. There's a store. What could I get from a store? Do I want to change my weapons? I kind of... I kind of really like my build. If there's nothing to sell, I don't know that I want to go to the store for anything. My augments are full. I like my weapons and drones. Maybe a better defensive drone, but that's like the only thing I could think of. So we'll get a couple, couple jumps. Eh, I'm gonna do this. I want that. I want that to be online. Okay, attempt to download. All right, we got a map. Beautiful. Storage key is an augment that if you get to sector eight, to the, what is it called? What's the place that you're defending? the Federation base or whatever, if you get there before the Rebel flagship, or if you get there, Rebel flagship leaves, you go back and come back. Basically, go to that jump on the Rebel flagship's not on there. It triggers a special blue event that unlocks a certain ship in this mod and also gives you, like, a special augment. So it's like, it's like the homeworld quests of vanilla kind of thing. Cool bonus thing to unlock bonus ships. Uh, would you like payment? No thanks. Yeah, 
feel like I'm gonna skip this door. I don't, don't think there's anything I could, that I really want enough to go there for. So you'll get to see it in action since I'm not gonna get any 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 uh, any other augments to. To replace it with, even though I, I I don't unlock anything with it because I've already done all the unlocks. I think I've done all. I think we got the final unlock we were missing last week. No, I think this will actually kill their crew. Oh, not if I fire it after they repair. I must have an NG over there. Just repair speed. You know what? <laughs> I just bombed my ship to one shot those dudes. Oh, I just does, does mess up my mind control. It does burn my mind control down, so that was just a little troll, but kind of funny that I could kill the crew off by bombing my own ship with this. This the most powerful anti-personnel bomb in the galaxy. It was fun. It was worth it. That that one damage was worth. Who needs a security detail when you can Delete enemies on your ship with a bomb. That's right. That was fun. I enjoyed that. All right, what do we got here? Um, I need to be here in like eight. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I can get all these jumps, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll probably do that. We'll get power though. It's all about that power. All about the Pentiums, baby. I'm just, I'm, I must be really excited for the Weird Al concert I'm going to in a month or two because I just, Weird Al random songs just keep popping into my head. Um, attack. Self-bombing is legit. Just don't try it with a nuke. <laughs> good tip. That's a good tip. Pie Boy will allow that state statement. That did not work. That did not work. How much new damage did the nuke do again? I don't even remember. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Keep forgetting to move my power back into shields. I need to have enough power to, so I don't need a backup battery to shields, which we are almost there. Am I there now, actually? Um, one, two. Yes, we are. Okay. Now I'd want to get uh, two more drone power and extra power so I can have both laser drones and my defense drone at the same time. That would be nice. But let me get fifth dodge before I do that. It did 50 damage, the nuke did? Okay. Yeah, that seems to be from wearing radiation in your pants and pants, so maybe you should pants the pants the pants about it, because it's a pants the pants. Okay, all right. You cheaters, liars and cheaters. Liar and cheater slugman. Yeah, let's get vented. I can kind of cheese this a bit. Let's cheese him. I'll cheese it right back, you cheaser, cheater, 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 cheaters. Cheater, cheesers. Do that until they're vented, and they're pretty much vented now. Okay. Nice. Um. All those crew that died on our ship are now going to spawn on their ship because they have clone bay. The radiation is worrying in your ship because of the radiation and the radiation. Go away, slugs. Go away. Nobody likes you. That's why you invade everybody. 
because you can't actually get real friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I ever get eight, I don't think I get eight with the few nebula gems we have access to. Okay. We could crew kill this. Um, Slowrider confirms Renfield Bomb is a reference to End of the Breach, and it's not the only End of the Breach reference in the mod. Nice, that's cool. Oh, that's not cool, though. I don't like that. One shot that guy. Beautiful. Slow Rider's full of it. And by it, I mean into the breach references. Fight in a fire. Yeah, we're 100% crew kill on this. Ah, oh, shnikes. Does this do actual? Yeah, since it does whole damage. It, oh, yeah, personnel damage 15. Nice. Why well, you guys have got all spread all apart? Go in the same room together. So I can bomb you together. I'm trying to save my bombs here. One point nine five health left. I'm gonna wait till my control wears off so I don't miss him as he dodges my shots. Okay. Oh Jesus! Fine, I'll use a bomb. I'm trying to be all snickety frugal stuff. Good luck, thanks, Spirit Warrior. Appreciate that. We have a pretty nice build going on here on this modded run. All right, what do I want to upgrade? Uh, upgrade. Let's go Clone Bay. I've been low-level Clone Bay for a long time. Value points. Do I need power? I, oh, yeah, I wanted to get two more in drone control. Get a couple value points before I go for that. I have 39 bombs. I know. I know. If I had a million dollars, I would still probably... Go pick up food from the store so I don't have to pay the $5 tip. That is, that is my, that is me. I, I go pick up food instead of having it delivered to save the $2 delivery charge and the $5 tip. That is just, I will always be that frugal cheap guy, probably. Cheap is the word, not frugal, cheap. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! Triple kill! <laughs> yeah, Rex loves. Love that. That's exactly how you end up with 39 bombs. It's true. It's true. I can't help. It's just it's, it's the kind of guy I am. The cheap kind of guy I am. Can you stand in a line so I can get more bullet per bullet? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want to pierce all of you at the same time. Anti-personnel bomb. As a crappy version of the Renfield bomb, I guess. Yeah. You do that too, but you have 40 frozen hamburgers. You don't refuse to eat them because you're worried you're going to run out. Am I spending that $2 on gas, though? Um, I'm pretty sure driving to... Driving five minutes away and back would be less in gas than it would be the delivery fee plus tipping a driver. Pretty sure. I don't know for sure, because I'm bad at math, as we've established on the stream before, but I'm pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I can do that. Because um, I don't think these are actually in nebulas here. Nebulae. I mean, the price of gas keeps going up, but also that $2 for delivery free is, fee is probably higher than that because of the price of gas. Holy missiles, Batman. Okay, so I have to cloak this one because that is a stealth missile. I will let my defense drone hopefully do the work on that guy. So I need to, be, I need to pay attention here.
So cloak when this missile fires. Of course he shot down one of my drones right as I turned him on. Why the f wouldn't he? Ugh. Am I gonna have cloaking in time for this? No. And that hits. So do I stick around for this fight? No, F your cloaked missile. F it. You know what? One, two, three, four, five. I might be able to do that with these being a nebula. Nebula. And I actually do want to see if there's a better defense drone. You prefer to go to your shell, uh, shop yourself most, time, most of the time. The other um, thing about going to a store yourself is if you're waiting for the delivery guy who has like a bunch of deliveries, then your food might get cold. So I don't trust the delivery. I, I, I delivered pizzas for a year or two way back when. And I was like always, oh, I got to get this quickly so the food is hot. But a lot of delivery drivers really don't care because they... They do a crappy job and don't really care if they do it well. And they'll go slow and, you know, stop to smoke pot on the way there or whatever. Eleven moons. So. Nice. Got a mind control immune guy right there. So, uh, I just... It might be the end of the run, but we will always make room for a silly device at the end of a run. So I just, I will, I prefer to go pick it up so it's hot, it's fresh. I don't have to wait, I don't have to tip. I know, I'm cheap. Uh, you're 100% on my side. Your girlfriend wants to order delivery all the time. You tell her you'll pick it up to save $5, yeah. Are you got any like, upgraded drones? You got an anti-drone. Which is good, but would I rather have my defense drone up than the anti-drone? I'm not actually sure which I'd rather have. Swap them. I don't know that swapping them feels that useful. There are offensive drones on every phase except the final phase in this mod. Anti drone is actually pretty good. I'm gonna have to decide if I use it. I think I'm diving here because I don't think this is in a nebula. Who tips drivers? I do, because I used to drive, so I will I will 100 percent if I order delivery will tip. But I don't want to tip because I'm cheap, so I'll go pick it up. Okay, we can 100 percent crew kill this if we would like to, which I would like to. Okay. Okay, we might control the NG so we can't repair. Turn these guys off so we don't accidentally kill the ship before crew killing them. Uh, wait a moment, are you speaking about gas price in real world? Yeah, that's what the reference was, I believe. T -t 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 Triple kill! Uh, not a good enough deal for me to not kill you. Issue with delivery and why you try to avoid it is that now tip is electronic. You feel like if you don't tip well, you're going to get bad service. And if you do get bad service, regardless of tipping well, you have re no recourse. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay, I want you to go in there. Save, save my ban. Oh, I almost hit all three of them at the same time. Uh, mind control. You're more getting into tip culture where tipping is less common here. Well, that's kind of a thing, right? Like, tipping is more of a US thing or more of a certain country thing and not as big over in some other places. Okay. So I do want to get power and the drones upgraded. So let's work on that. Six, that's minimum. I could get a value point potentially. Just glad the fuel price and FTL are consistent. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, I mean, I don't care about the deal, but I don't need the fuel. I'm going to sector eight. 
Uh, are they? They go up the later sectors. There's inflation even in FTL. I'm sorry to break it to you. But it starts at... Wait. Or is it repair prices that I'm thinking of? Whoops, I think I was... I get, mic I get fuel and repair prices mixed up. Got all those dodges. Christ. Kill your friend. There. Is it always three per fuel, or does it start lower and go up? I honestly can't remember. I think it might just be repairs I was thinking of. Wow, this this timing works out perfectly. I'm just gonna kill him. Get the scrap, well not scrap, get the fuel, get the uh, score farming there. Need to kill three in a two square room for satisfactory amount of bullets per hit. That's right. Is it inflation or supply and demand? Fuel is always three. Repairs go from two to four. Okay, that's what I was getting mixed up. All right, store here. All right, what does this advanced defense one drone do? Cost three power. Shoots faster. And then it, all, it doesn't hit stealth. Drones. Okay, so I'm not gonna go with that. All right, so we want to get to the base before the boss, or just go back and forth to it. But we do have this uh, storage key we can do. I'm gonna keep the anti drone. I probably will still use it phase. Is it one or two that has hacking? I can't remember. In this mod. Okay. Unless you get the best deal. There you go, that's right. That's the best deal you can get on fuel. How do you know? The guy told me it was the best deal. He wouldn't lie to me, would he? Surely you wouldn't lie to me. He would, don't call me Shirley. No, I didn't start a fire. Yeah. Oh, they're all together? How about how about three in a four-person room? Oh crap! I pressed the wrong button. Bam! <laughs> All right, nice. That was the not enough time event, so it's actually good that we crew killed him. In Hungary, you can tip, and most of the time you tip a few hundred extra huff. I don't know what huff is, but a hundred sounds like a lot to me. Uh, well, that's. That was a repair you just immediately took over. That sucks. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the base to get this, because I'm I don't think I wanna go through there. I need two more power. And I will have the uh power I need for these guys, and I can back up batteries, something. I don't think I'm gonna get fourth shield. Oh, the anti-drone drone. Damn it. Anti-drone drone actually really sucks for our build. Wow, anti-drone and defense too is like a hard counter to our build. Okay, fire. A single drone and you can't use this system. It's one of the reasons I often don't go for such heavy drone offense. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Time to spam grenades like your average FPS player. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Guess that's what it's time for. 300 huff is equal to 1 USD. Ah, okay. One day, oh, Jesus, they're cutting off the entire axis or route to the base. I hate that, man. Come on, FTL. Could you be less of a douchebag? No, oh, you can't. Oh, that's the only thing you know how to be. Okay. Wait. 
Well, I guess I'm diving right before the boss fight. Ugh. Well, we got to turn this on. We got the drone recovery arm anyway. F U F T L. Freaking million dodges this guy's got. Our defense is really good though. Uh, let's not bomb the guy who's actually killing that for us. I am using more missiles than I should, honestly. But I do want to get the crew kills if I can. So, one more. And then we kill this guy without missiles. 27. Nice, there it is. Who's, who's surrendering? You're all dead. There is nobody left to surrender. The ship is surrendering to me. It's not true. FTL also knows how to be a twat bucket. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase before, but I believe that. Seriously, it cuts this off so it can't go there, then it cuts this off, and then it cuts this off. Come on, FTL. Ugh, Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess I'll go get the repair and just dive forever. F you, FTL. I guess I dive forever. One with diving. Let's go one, two, three, I guess. Then he'll jump away, and I'll have to jump away and back to get the augment thing to activate. Think FUFTL would make a great sequel? We play it every Wednesday. Oh god, it's elite dudes. Uh, no teleporter, though. Save my cloaking. Okay. He's hacking me. Hacking my mind control? My battery. Dan, are you freaking kidding me? He has hacking stunner. They just default have that. You just default gave them hacking stunner. Seriously? Jesus. Oh, fuck you, FTL. Zero fucking dodges for me. Ah, fucking force dive and this bullshit. What is he bombing? Bombing my drone control. Fuck you, FTL. Seriously, man. That feels like trying to drive anywhere during road construction season. Yeah, that's pretty much what that was. Effing FTL being effing FTL. That's what that was. Keep and Strong has this covered. Cloak. Now. Dodge, there it is. Okay. Oh, he's got cloaking. Great. I did 
not mean to move that guy. I was wondering I was why I was missing a power. I don't want to be using all of my missiles on these fights, but I kind of am not having a choice right now. Right, so go into the boss fight. Let me wait as late as possible. Wow, the defense drone. You are a piece of sh stupid crap. ASB dodged. Okay, good. I want to give time for a backup battery to be back online. Because if you go straight from a ship fight to a ship fight, I'm pretty sure your shit's not back up automatically. I think you have to wait for it to recharge. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Average engineer job pays at the start around five to eight hundred K. Our teachers are really underpaid. Quite true, yes. I don't even get to choose to swap to anti-drone if I wanted to. I don't know if he hacks this phase. He doesn't teleport. I think he does. Mind control you, small bomb, or anti-personnel bomb this. Okay. There. Keeps cloaking down for a bit longer. Okay, is that hacking incoming? I'm not sure. I would like to crew kill them to cloak this back up. Should be a short cloak with it being ioned and shot and stuff. Okay. Get hell, man. Wow, our defense turn I think is doing work though. Just keep spawning. I really hate that you gave this thing clone bay. I really hate that you gave this thing clone bay. Okay. No more dudes for you. So now I can get some good crew kills and they won't be able to finish it off. Oh, that's a double fire that I missed. This. And my defense drone died. Oh, he finally got it through and it's a shield hack. That's pretty bullshit. Triple kill there. God damn it. My control wore off right after. Okay. Alright. Not a bad phase one. We took like three damage. I'm gonna have to dive to activate the thing, uh, the storage key. But the good thing is that I believe we get a free repair by doing that as well. And I believe I want to swap these drone parts out. I'm pretty sure I want anti-drone for phase two. Okay, I think anti-drone for phase two is gonna be really good. Did he have an anti-drone phase two? Because if so, this laser drone is useless. So I I don't know if he does. I don't think he does. All right, what can we do here? Backup battery, more power? Sure. All right, so go dive here just to free up the, uh, or to reset this beacon here. Oh, that weapon, we need to cloak that. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, FTL. Give me a break from this shit. Why are they always in front of the fucking weapons, man? <sighs> God damn it, FTL. Not that I'm running out of drone parts. It's still fucking annoying. Oh, I don't think I timed it right. 
Okay, well that's fine. All I wanted was that. So I should get a repair. Repair. Storage keys reacting. Lambda key. Maintenance nanobots. Experimental nanobot system retrieved from the Federation base. It allows the ship to naturally recover from the effects of fires and hull breaches. Nice. So this does fire suppression and slug repair gel in a single, single augment. Very nice. Okay. Oh, that is a two power cost thing. You nerfed anti-drone drone. Weird. Beep bum, beep bum. Start a fire, please. Perfect. So we can do this. We do this. I don't want any of you to spawn. You spawn. Do I cloak now for level two? No, we still have Zoltan Shield, so. We do this. Leaves one crew alive. Cloak now. Alright. The crew kills are great. Crew kills are really good. Oh, he's got two alive. One more than I was expecting. Should be able to make no more missiles come through. Nope, somehow that's still there. Damn, the fire is open for a fire. Combat drone finish him. Beautiful. All right, zero damage phase two. 31 scrap gets us. Max piloting, let's go. No swiggity swag sensors on this one. Uh, and I don't think he's got any offensive drones on phase three, so I think we can do this. Okay. Honestly, really strong run, even though I feel like we fought a lot of really strong enemies. Okay, well, that's fine. We have a slug to see into their ship. Auto fire and this. All right, well, we're supposed to take out the drone control on this one. You know what? I think I can explode his drones here. Yeah, we killed his. <laughs> we killed his repair drones. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty awesome. Does he have the mind control? He does. So I wanna, I still wanna save that as a counter. Cloak. So I leave one crew left. Beautiful. Mm, that did not time out super well. Okay, there's the mind control counter. This anti-personnel bomb is pretty cool, but I will say it's not as OP as some of the other crew-killing weapons that we've played that, like, um, actually do system damage, but maybe that would be too OP. This is a perfect cloak timing here. Right as the missiles come in, right as the overcharge goes through. Perfect. Not get his shields down though. I think his repair drones might be back up though. Come on. There it is. My control counter. Bomb this. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but we killed his drones. I really, really hate drones. I am the only one allowed to have drones in this galaxy. No more missiles. Can I start firing there? There it is! Oh, I did one damage at the end. But perfect boss fight except for the final shot. GG cookie time. You like Dave? Dave was a great gunner. Dave was a good guy. The repost. That is the final of the plus ships from Slow Rider X Cores. Amazing. SMPK Insurrection mod. Um, I think we do still have a few ships to play in this, the, the random ship thing. I think Slow Rider, you said there's a few special ships in there that we can play. 
Randy's secretly a Clone War vet and hates all droids. <laughs> That's right. Uh, he's had a ship fight against a three-engine ship, 36 shots, six hits. Jeez, that's insane. All right, let's check that score. 59-29, some pretty good scores today. 48, just defeated exactly 100 beacons. 1993 is a good year. Actually, I don't remember. That was that was like 12 years old or something. Um, so let's look at what we will play the next time we play this, because we have played all versions of the second page ships. A, B, and C versions of everything. We played this guy, right? Hologram generator, teleporter, I think we did that. Uh, so it would be, oh. Oh, we definitely have some stuff to unlock. Reunite a wandering explorer with a cruiser they used, used to command in order to unlock this ship. So you're gonna have to tell me, have I played this capital cruiser? The imposter, I feel like I have. But I haven't got to Sector 8 with it if I have. So it looks like I, this is like the next thing I need to play. You were four in that year. Well, I'm old. I'm old. There's a couple people in chat who are older than me, I think. So I wonder how we unlock this one. Reunite a wandering explorer with the cruiser they used to command. Cruiser they used to command. Sebastian. Is there a story... I feel like I need to fight like the under construction flagship with some some special ship or something. Maybe you can give us some hints next time we play at Slow Rider. But it is five o'clock. We got three fun runs in today. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you again, RPG Nerdos, Mr. Porku, Slow Rider X Core, anybody else who creates ships. It's always fun to check those out. I'm kind of running out of ships, but I do have ship packs still to finish up, so I have a feeling RPG Nerdles will send more, and I think Mr. Porku said is going to send another one as well. So we will always have more ships to play next time. So I uh, hope you all had a good time. If there's anybody new to the stream, if you had fun, hope you follow. Thank you for those bits, Mr. Bread Baps. I missed that. Uh, we'll play some uh, Satisfactory tomorrow, and Wednesday will be uh, Harpa No Pause, of course. So for those who want to see me angry, that's the day. Uh, I think I'm going to start a new game this Friday because I kind of got done uh, kind of didn't have any more fun with Gordian quest so I think I might either start stray because I think I want to save Tuesdays and Thursdays for after I finish satisfactory to start into the breach so I have two days to commit to it every week and not days that I are like short days like Sunday so you're gonna you can make more ships too well we have some packs we can get through you could also give me the command otherwise we're replaying an older ship well we'll see slow rider we'll see um, we have some stuff to play in the meantime, but, um, I am going to head out, my friends. So again, y'all are amazing. Can never thank all you wonderful folks enough for all the support. Like I always say, bits, follow subs, give the subs, hanging out, lurking, all the awesome, amazing stuff y'all do sports stream. Couldn't do it without you awesome people. So y'all enjoy this cheese shanty. And until next time, peace out, happy gaming. I will see you all tomorrow or next time. Y'all rock. Have a great night, my friends. Mm -hmm.